quick lesson is all about AIS and how we can use AIS to understand whether a risk of collision exists. We've got a large vessel coming out of Portbury Dock, coming down the channel called the Yeoman Bank. Um, he on our chart plotter here has his AIS showing. Okay, this is us down here. So if we tap onto him, you'll see that we can get some details up that will talk about the vessel. Okay. So that's how we can interrogate the system to find out what he is. And he's a class A vessel, so he has quite a lot of information on the screen. You'll also see he's showing us dangerous. And the reason he's showing us dangerous is because if we come across onto the right-hand side of the screen here, we've got our dangerous. We have a closest point of approach of 0.15 nautical miles and a time to our closest point of approach here down at three and a half minutes or so okay so i've got my screen split into chart on the left with my ais overlay and my radar screen on the right with my ais overlay so i can see the vessel and here i'm in north up and here i am in head up so this one is showing me what i can see out of the window you can see that the target is just off the ship's heading marker and if i show you outside you can see that we have the large ship coming down the channel there. On the AIS, you can also see that I have got an indication of the vessel's course, where the vessel is heading, with the dotted lines that are showing as a little vector coming out of the front of the, the ship, and the same on my radar display there. Okay. Although we've got a really small closest point of approach, we're in the main channel, which means that we are actually very well clear of the ship. The ship is heading down the starboard side of the King Road here. And as you can see, there is the vessel. Here he is on the chart. Obviously we get no indication really of size on the chart on the left. On the right hand side, we can start to get an indication of size and aspect from the radar that we have. So if I can select my radar, if I want to zoom in, you'll start to see that I get quite a good return here from the ship. I've got quite a good return at the top because he is indeed quite a large ship, although we're looking slightly on the beam of the ship. We're getting a really good return on the radar there. It's still showing us dangerous, and it will show us dangerous because we don't have any choice but to pass this close to him, but we are all nice and safe because we're on the starboard side of the channel, and he is on his starboard side of the channel there. So again, here you can see if we want to zoom in a little bit, how we are passing. You can see here, you've got the Port Hand Natural Mark and the Newcomb Boy. He is going to be passing just to the south of that. And if we take a look back on our radar screen now, you'll see that I'm getting quite a large return from him. I'm now really quite close to him and I'm getting a really good return from the aspect of the Yeoman Bank. I come back down to my screen, if I clear my cursor, if I look at scrolling away, I can start to see that I've got some, some other potential targets a little bit further up on my ship's heading marker here. I'm now ranging about two nautical miles and just on the horizon you might be able to make out the wake of a motor cruiser which is just starting to show on the radar screen. You can see our ship there, right a beam of us now. If I come back to my radar screen, I zoom in at the screen settle you'll see that I'm getting a really good return from the side of the ship. AIS and radar.